January 12th, 1999 was exactly one week before my sixth birthday and was the day of my very first ever piano lesson. All of my older siblings had started taking piano lessons already, but the teacher wouldn't take anybody under the age of six. I had been eagerly awaiting my first lesson, and now I can't remember that lesson, but I can remember taking a lot of lessons over a lot of years. For a long time when I was a kid, I totally hated practicing. We had one piano in the middle of the house, and everyone could hear me when I played songs over and over again and kept screwing up. So I would instead put check marks in my notebook for practicing to fake my teacher into thinking that I had practiced five out of the seven days that week so that I could get a sticker. But one by one, all of my older siblings started to drop out of piano, and I either never realized it was an option or was too scared to do it. But I'm really glad that I didn't because over time, I started to really, really love playing the piano. Eventually, I even outgrew my teacher. In high school, I started taking lessons from a new teacher, and he was the best. He made it so interesting. He'd give me pieces that would challenge me, but then also pieces that were just fun or he thought I would enjoy. He taught me to read lead sheets, and he got me gigs playing at a church on Wednesday nights. He was the best. Sometime in high school was when I got my keyboard. I was finally able to play with headphones. Nobody could hear me and nobody could tell when I screwed up. There was absolutely no judgment and it gave me this place to be totally free. And the piano became this safe haven for me. It became a place where I could let out all of these emotions and feelings that I was really, really good at bottling up inside of me. As a kid with four siblings, I finally had something that I could call completely, totally, 100% mine. So all throughout high school I accompanied choir and I played in our family band and in worship on Sundays and pits for musical theater. Over time I decided that I was going to audition for music school. When I got my acceptance letter it was one of the greatest days of my entire life. I remember getting the letter and being so nervous and I gave it to my mom and I said, you have to open it, I can't read it, I'm way too nervous. But eventually I got the guts and I opened it up and I saw congratulations. And I just remember jumping up and down, screaming and hugging and we had to go for a walk down the road because we were so excited. And I called up my music teacher and he already knew that I had made it in before I did because he knew the teacher at CMU and it was just one of the best days of my life. In 2011, I started at the CMU School of Music, and music school was inspiring and breathtaking and incredible and <laughs> exhausting. I remember at one point I was accompanying five vocalists, the jazz ensemble, as well as learning all of my own repertoire while taking 13 or 14 credits and working a part-time job. I remember in that first semester stepping into the grand piano practice rooms and being so intimidated because everybody could hear me and all that self-consciousness that I had when I was a little kid started coming back. But I didn't have time to be self-conscious for very long because I was in music school and I had to learn this stuff. So I practiced in the morning and I practiced on my lunch breaks and in between classes and before I went to work and I practiced and I practiced and I practiced and I played for studios and I played for my friends and I eventually became a better pianist than I could have ever dreamed of being. But something was missing. All of the students around me were finding their passions, whether it was teaching or performance or theory or pedagogy, and I was just there because I liked to play music and I didn't have this grand goal and I was kind of starting to despise it. Over my second year at CMU, doubt started to grow inside of me. Before I started my third year, I made one of the hardest decisions of my life and I dropped out of music school. I was out of school for two years and I still played, but I sunk into a depression that I wouldn't admit that I was in and the piano really faded into the background. I remember thinking to myself, you spent all of these years playing and you told all these people you had all these big dreams for the piano and you just failed. But eventually, kind of slowly, but also all at once, I started playing again, not because I had a sonata I had to learn or techniques I needed to improve on or an accompaniment that I needed to learn. I started playing just because I loved it and I remembered how much I loved it. The piano started to become that safe haven that it used to be. It became a place where I could just pour out all of these feelings and emotions that I had been feeling and couldn't let out any other way. I had realized for some time that my piano abilities peaked back in music school, and I'm okay with that. I can't play that Beethoven sonata anymore, and I don't have that Bach fugue memorized. My left hand definitely 
is not as dexterous as it used to be, but I am totally okay with that because I love playing again. I still play every day, whether it's in my church at practice or at home playing for long and loud hours where nobody can hear me and I can play songs that no human ears will ever get to hear besides my own, but I can let it all out. Today, I am sitting here. It is January 12th, 2019, and it has been 20 years since my first piano lesson. 20 years! How am I old enough to have done anything for 20 years? I have no idea, but I have done this. I have played the piano for 20 years. I never knew back when I was not even six years old that I was starting something that was gonna be a companion for me for my entire life. I could have quit so many times, and I almost did. I could have just given all of it up. But the piano is such a huge piece of who I am. It's not just a piece of my past and my history and my story. It is ingrained into the very fiber of what makes me me. I love playing the piano and I hope that I am playing it for another 20 years and then another 20 years on top of that and then another 20 years on top of that. And I hope I'm playing for the rest of my life because the piano has changed me and I love it. And I think that I'm a better person because I took a piano lesson on January 12th, 1999.